is disappearing and I'm going to read two tiny space for today. One afternoon, a spaceship landed in Pete's back garden in a shower of sparks. Wow, said Pete. A small green creature climbed down. Greetings, Pink One, said the creature. I am Zog from Planet Flop. Greeting, Green One, said Pete. I am Pete from Planet Earth. Can you help me, said Zog. My Flopmobile has broken down and my old Zog will be very cross if I'm late for tea. Pete examined the little spaceship. Zog showed him the controls. The starter, the fuel, the zoom, slow, fast, really fast. Pete saw the problem at once. The button stuck. Button was stuck down. He wiggled it and waggled it. But then, the little spaceship took off. Zoom! All of a sudden, they're in outer space. Oh no, cried Pete. Quick, let's push the down button again. And again. Pete and Zom pushed the button as hard as they could. But the spaceship just zoomed higher and higher and higher. Oh no, cried Pete. Mum, both Pete will be very cross. It's my tea time soon. And I'm not allowed to go beyond the garden gate. Let alone out of space. Sorry, said Zom. But it's on autopilot. Any minute now, we'll be on planet Flop. At that very moment, the little ship, spaceship landed bump, on planet Flop. Mumbo Flop was rushing from the house. She was not pleased. Naughty Zum, she cried. You know you're not allowed to be on the garden stars. And who's this strange big creature? Zog told Mumbo all about his adventure on planet Earth and how Pete had helped him mend the little spaceship. Mumbo Zog was grateful to Pete. She invited him to tea. Pete looked at his watch. Hmm. Mumbo and Pete would just be calling him in 10 minutes. It's just enough time. They had Zoogle fingers, waffle tops on wobble plates, and a glass of Google juice. Then Pete said he really must go. Pete said goodbye to Flub and Mum Bogsop flew him home, zap, in her super zoom zipper ship. Zap, zap, zap. He arrived just in time for tea on Earth. It was fish fingers on brown toast with a glass of fizzy orange. Pete wasn't the least bit hungry, but he ate it all up anyway. After all, he could hardly tell his mum he had already eaten his tea in space. And that's the end of our story. Tea time in space by Caroline Castle. I hope you liked it.